The Garden Party is the very first episode of The Boondocks, although the creation number is 103. It was purposed as the third episode delivered, and it debuted on November 6, 2005. Granddad's greatest fear is that Huey and Riley will humiliate him before their new neighbors reach a point of distrust when the family attends a traditional, elegant garden party. The encouraging news is that only one person gets shot. Say hello to my little friend! The episode starts off with Huey Freeman walking up to the stage at a social gathering where most of the attendees are white and declares, Jesus was black, Ronald Reagan was the devil, and the government is lying about 9-11. Thank you for your time and good night. The party goers panic and start attacking each other, which causes chaos. When Huey awakens from this dream, his grandfather slaps him Ow. for having that dream where he made the white folks riot. But I was telling the truth. How many times have I told you you better not even dream about telling white folks the truth? You understand me? Making white people riot. You better learn how to lie like me. I'm going to find me a white man and lie to him right now. Riley Freeman, the age of 8, and Huey 10 are the primary characters and are adjusting to life in this new, primarily white suburb of Woodcrest. Nigga hush! Huey notices a black vehicle approaching their home as he surveys their new neighbors from the rooftop. Millionaire Ed Wunsler, the driver, stops by to meet the family. First, Wunsler, whose bank owns every home in Woodcrest, conducts a cordial interview with Robert, the boy's grandfather, questioning his sexual orientation and political beliefs. Then, to commemorate his grandson Ed Wunsler, the third homecoming from the Iraq War, Ed extends an invitation to Robert and his family to a garden party. After hearing this, the boys are hesitant to go to the party, especially Huey who doesn't want to drink tea with the enemy, but because their grandfather's requests impede them, they reluctantly go with him. The hell I can't! You're gonna go, and you're not gonna embarrass me in front of my new neighbors, or I'm gonna beat your ass! The Freemans get to the celebration after a little detour at the front gate of the Wunsler's estate, where they run with a white supremacist black man named Uncle Ruckus. Oh, Lord, how much it? Security, security, we got a cold black. Cold black at the main gate. Ruckus, what the hell is a coat black? There are some hungry looking niggas at the front gate. When they first meet Ed Wunsler III, he tells them about his time spent serving in Iraq and uses his catchphrase. The fuck y'all looking at? The truth, according to Huey, is that Jesus was black, Ronald Reagan was the devil, and the government is lying about 9-11, as he tries to inform the other partygoers. His attempts, much to his dismay, are met with little more than humorous disinterest, and applause. Huey concludes that people's lack of concern results from their wealth. In the meantime, Ed III shows Riley his room and displays his vast arsenal of weapons. Then, Ed III challenges Riley to shoot him with a loaded Spaz 12 shotgun while donning a bulletproof vest. Back at the party, Uncle Ruckus begins singing a song he created to the Freeman family called Don't Trust Them New Niggas Over There. Sing along if you know the words. Don't trust them new niggas over there Leaving they nigga essence in the air Ruckus has been drinking from a flask, holding it while singing, and maybe becoming intoxicated since the Freeman showed up at the party. Riley discharges the gun from upstairs, and the force of the explosion knocks it out of his second floor window, and Riley flying backward. Fuck y'all looking at is Ed's catchphrase once more after appearing unharmed. A bit anxious, Ed Wunsler Sr. receives an apology from Robert Freeman regarding the event, but much to his surprise, Ed says that he understands. That boy will be president of the United States in 30 years, and he'll still be a fucking idiot. He and Robert then have a drink, toasting to the old school. Even the animated version of Aaron Magruder's famous and divisive comic strip spark debate due to his uses of the N-word and his depiction of black cultural figures like Martin Luther King Jr. Notably, Magruder was not involved in how it ended, which resulted in a disappointing fourth and final season. But there's so much to love about the show, from the anime-inspired character design to Regina King's stellar voice work as both of the Freeman brothers, who do their best to fight the power as new residents of a mostly white suburban town. The Boondocks took a lot of big swings worth admiring, and it represented a very, very underheard point of view in the realm of animation. One thing that I admired about Magruder and his team was the fact that The Boondocks is a must-see television series. 
as vicious, funny, and timely as Magruder's comic strip, which appears in 350 newspapers, including the Chronicle. Magruder's TV tunes act and speaks even more outrageously than in his hate mail inspiring strip, thanks to an engaging Japanese anime style. Regardless of our national origin, race, religion, reprisal, disability, age, color, and even sex, including gender identity, sexual orientation, and pregnancy, we are all as one with similar goals in mind and similar life problems. How we come together and deal with those problems is a matter of how we come together. For this to be the first episode of The Boondocks that aired back in November 2005, it was definitely ahead of its time. I would like to thank Aaron Magruder and the Magruder TV Tunes for presenting this dark, truthful humor to the world and shining a spotlight on the truths of real world events world with an attempt to try and make it a better place to reside. I would rate this episode a 9 out of 10, must rewatch, hilariously funny. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. All we are asking for is 200 likes to help take this channel to the next level. Tune in every Saturday for review videos and Sunday for more episodes. Thanks for watching, take care, and we will see you in the next one.